New on the night, beep, they've both received life saving care from Brook Army Medical Center, but now they're stuck with massive bills that threaten their very livelihood. The visits leaving the men feeling helpless. The woman that I talked to at the hospital told me with the size of the bill that you have, there's nothing we can do to help you. Lost sleep, seized tax refunds, and as a night team's Dylan Collier explains, a financial hole that seems impossible to climb out of. A warning, some of the injury pictures are graphic in nature. This is tonight's Defender's Investigation. Our story begins in August 2018 in the town of Fisher in Comal County. Ernest Ferris, his wife and son, were building a barn dominium on their property. Ferris was on an extension ladder 20 feet in the air. You know, the ladder slipped or whatever might have happened and I fell to the ground. A cut on his triceps went all the way to the bone, but after Ferris was taken by ambulance to a nearby high school, then airlifted from there to Brook Army Medical Center, doctors discovered a more serious injury. He had broken his neck. 21 months and multiple surgeries later, with Ferris on the mend and back at work, the pain has moved from his body to his checkbook. A more than six-figure medical bill from Bampsey that remains unpaid. Since Ferris was uninsured and a civilian treated at a military hospital, he is responsible for the entire amount. Earlier this year, the U.S. Department of the Treasury sees Ferris's tax refund. It eats at me every day. I was all here by the river walk. Guillermo Rocha was unloading a tree off of a trailer in 2017 when something went terribly wrong. So I got on the back hole. His boss, Arthur Trejo, still haunted by what he saw, the arm of the backhoe swinging towards his employee and friend. And that arm with tension came over and just hit Mr. Rocha. I immediately jumped off and got to him, and uh, he wasn't moving. Rocha was rushed to downtown Baptist, then transferred to Bampsey because of the seriousness of his injuries, which included a collapsed lung, 11 broken ribs, and a broken collarbone. I'm not, I'm not the same like I was before. He spent 11 days at the hospital, and like Ferris, years later, his bill remains unpaid, and his tax refund is now property of the federal government. But the bill, which has grown to over $40,000, should have been covered by workers' compensation insurance. The problem? The Texas company handling Roach's claim needs an itemized bill from the hospital and has sent Bampsey certified letters month after month asking for one. Meanwhile, Rocha remains trapped by the debt. Sometimes I can't sleep, you know, because, you know, I think they're going to do this and do that, you know. A sentiment shared by Ferris. My wife tells me that I shouldn't worry as much as I do, but it just bothers me because I'm not able to do the right thing. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. We contacted Brook Army Medical Center and officials released a statement that reads in part, Bamsey works closely with patients and families to ensure they have the information they need to navigate the billing process. We have reached out to Mr. Ferris and Mr. Rocha directly to address their concerns. In fact, last night we learned that Bamsey officials finally sent Rocha those billing codes that workers comp needed to pay his hospital bill, but that he may still be on the hook for any collection fees or penalties.